the epidemiological studies have not been able to show a conclusive link uh, between the use of marijuana, uh, even heavy long-term use, and the development of cancers of the uh, lung, the aerodigestive system, the head and neck, uh, and, and numerous other cancer uh, tissues uh, that have been searched for, but predominantly those areas, head and neck and, and uh, lung, are what we have the most data on. Very large studies have been conducted, thousands of patients, numerous uh, multi -site, multiple sites over several years, in some cases over several decades. Uh, was one such study was recently published in the Journal of American Medical Association. Studies out of UCLA with Dr. Donald Tashkin, who's a pulmonologist, a lung doctor, uh, and studies out of Brown University. Uh, all of these have shown, have really tried to find a link between the use of people who use marijuana and people who aren't using marijuana, and uh, tried to study them over a long time and see if there's an increased rate of cancer in the groups that have used marijuana when you control for all the other variables, and you just can't find it. And what's really exciting and interesting is in some cases, uh, Dr. Tashkin, uh, studies uh, published, reported that in some cases it's a protective effect. That is, people using marijuana had lower rates of, of certain can aerodigestive cancers. Uh, um, that's, very, that's very interesting, and that, that, that tells us that uh, there may be some effect of marijuana against cancer or to help your body fight off cancer. Now, that doesn't mean to say that uh, the smoke of marijuana uh, is harmless. Uh, there is soot and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are these pre, uh, what are called pro-carcinogens. Uh, but it turns out that uh, the effects of the, those compounds on your system may be uh, neutralized by some of the actual compounds in marijuana itself uh, that are um, you know, may help to reduce the effects, the negative effects of those compounds. So it kind of has a built-in safety system against developing those forms of cancer. There's, there's been some studies on association with testicular cancer, but the, those, th those aren't, uh, those are not very large studies. And um, usually it's very hard to find strong data. You have to collect large samples over a long period of time. And the lion's share of that evidence is showing us that there's no link to cancers. And interestingly, in the same studies, if you look at tobacco users, sometimes they'll compare them with tobacco, you get the, you get the increased risk of cancer uh, in a dose-dependent fashion. The more you use, the higher rates of cancer. And those were in the same studies with, that looked at marijuana. So um, you can prove smoking and cancer link with tobacco smoking. You can't prove it with marijuana. Music